<laughs> Next question. <laughs> you can tell them after I'm done. Um, all right, so on this example, ladies and gentlemen, now we're getting into systems of equations, which we dealt with last class period. And if you guys remember when we did systems of equations, remember there was kind of three, op three different results we had. We had, one, we had equations that intersected at a common point. We had uh, equations that graphed the same line. And then we had ones that were parallel. So the main important thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to identify what are the x and the y coordinates where they intersect. So we were trying to solve for x and we're trying to solve for y. All right. So when doing these problems, what I like to do when doing substitution, based on what we remember from functions, right? what we just did, is always try to find, when you're doing the substitution process, which we're going to go over today, is always either um, always try to get your variable um, that, that has a 1 or a negative 1 in front of it by itself. So in this case, you guys can see I have y is equal to 2x, right? Since y is equal to 2x, I know the value of y is equal to 2x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my first equation. And instead of plugging in y, I'm going to plug in what y is equal to, which is 2x. Does everybody see at least what I did? I replaced the y in the first equation with what it equals from the second equation, which is 2x. OK? Now, the reason why we did that is because now I have one equation with one variable. And we have solved equations that look like this. We can easily do this, right? One equation, one variable. I combine like terms. And then I solve for x. So now I know the value of x. But remember, when we're doing these problems, we're not only just trying to find the value of x, we're trying to find the value of y. So to find y, if I know x is equal to 2, and I want to find out what y is, just like when we did this, just like it was this, you know, f of x equals 2x. Well, I want to know what the value of x, I want to know what the value of f of x is when x equals 2, right? This is the same thing. We're trying to find, I know the value of x is 2. So what is the value of y? So you say y is equal to 2 times 2. y is equal to 4. Therefore, the intersection point, Jill, is at the point 2 comma 4. Does that make sense? Um, a little too fast for me, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there.